we thought we'd start off with some sizzle. Here it is. It's a Thompson Cruise. We're going to give you great weather around the Canaries. You can virtually guarantee that because you get some nearly every single day of the year in the Canaries. And check out the price under £500. We think this one is going to fly. And here to really, really show you the incredible experience you get with Thompson is Keith. Just before we, we show you Keith, very important, it is a free phone number. The call centre open till 10.30. All of our cruise experts are ready. We know we're going to be busy for this one. So if you want to get in right now, 0800 840 1088. But our fantastic guest presenter on our Friday show, Keith Maynard, he worked on Thompson for many, many years. And here he is to tell you more. With its uniquely British product, small, intimate ships, a great range of cruise and stay options, all tips included, an unrivaled number of regional airports you can fly from, plus a generous baggage allowance, it's little wonder that Thompson Cruises is turning heads. They boast one of the highest levels of repeat passengers in the industry, and after six years working for them, I can tell you why. They are without doubt the friendliest ships afloat. Some friends of mine who cruise a lot always pack two sizes of clothing. One for the start of the cruise, thank you, and one for the end. And once you've tasted the food on board, you'll understand why. It's international cuisine with a British twist. And with open sitting as standard, you won't need to rush trying to keep to the ship schedule. You can set the pace and enjoy up to seven meals a day. Trust me, it's possible. Whether it's a freshly pulled pint in a nightclub or sipping a cocktail of a day poolside, each of the bars on board Thompson Ships enjoys a unique and special personality. With honest low prices, juggling waiters and service with a smile, you're never more than two minutes walk away from a refreshing aperitif. The Thompson Cruises has some of the best entertainment afloat. In a two-week cruise, you'll see no fewer than ten full production shows and some great comedy from award-winning UK guest artists. Add to that fantastic interactive game shows, cabarets, and all singing, all dancing deck parties, and you really won't want to go back to your cabin. There is lots and lots of choice with the accommodation on board Thompson ships, from insides through to stunning suites. All are on suite, offer 24 hour room service, and two turn downs a day. The only surprise you're going to encounter is what your hand towel will be transformed into when you return every night. My favourite was always the monkey with the sunglasses. Do you know, you will have such an incredible time. We know how busy we're going to be. That ID number on the screen there, 81087. Jot that down right now. That's, you know, as you speak to uh, one of our cruise consultants, I don't know exactly which cruise you want if you jot that down. But let's find out where all this gorgeous sun is going to be. Gemma, talk us through. Right, well, we're going to fly you from the UK out to Tenerife and then you will embark that beautiful ship, the Thompson Majesty, for seven nights. And on day two, you will be sailing into Gran Canaria, where many of you may have been on holiday before. But it's so nice because, of course, on this cruise, you'll get to go to a number of islands all in one trip. And they're all quite different, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. They've all got different characteristics. But what you do get in all of them is that beautiful weather. So it's a great choice for you know anybody who likes their, their beach, their sunbathing. Um, but Gran Canaria is fantastic. Las Palmas is one of the biggest cities in the Canary Islands. And, um, yeah, you're going to get that great climate and that Spanish feel. And it's got that really rich history as well. Christopher Columbus called along in uh, Gran Canaria in 1492. And you've got, you know, palm-lined, beautiful streets, stunning countryside as well. So if you do venture away from the beach, there's plenty to see. And you should definitely visit the Mas Palomas dunes as well. Then on day three, you're sailing into La Gomera, and this is really, really beautiful. It's like paradise. It's a little small round island, and you've got golden beaches um, and lovely, lush scenery all around it. And it is, it's really nice. I was there a few years ago, and it's one of the islands that you don't get to, you know, necessarily see. You don't see hear that. about no. it as much, actually, do you? No, you don't. And actually, if you're into things like hiking, this is the place to pack your hiking boots and, and, and go and have an explore. Then on day four, you're going to sail into Funchal in Madeira. So again, a really sort of different feel to it. Um, Madeira is naturally very, very beautiful. Um, it's probably drier and smaller than the previous two places you've been to. And yeah, I think what you should definitely do is go to the botanical gardens. I'm just going to say that it's really known for its outstanding, you know, say botanical life. Um, 
I, it, it's stunning. You know, I'm into my gardening and, and I absolutely loved it. Yeah, there. anybody who loves their gardens at home will get a lot of pleasure from that. And you can also go on the famous cable car ride as well. That's a great way to see the island. And you've got wine tasting, so lots to Sounds do in good. Madeira. That's always fun. <laughs> and then day five, you've got a nice day at sea, so you can enjoy the ship, maybe book yourself a little spa treatment, something like that. And then day six, you're sailing into Lanzarote, the northernmost uh, most of the Canary Islands. Um, one of the larger islands, but again, fabulous weather. And of course, it's volcanic in origin. So on some of the beaches, you get that quite interesting sort of black sand. And um, you've got the Volcano Park, which is at Timon Fire. That's actually the island's number one tourist attraction now. Um, and it's where 270 years ago, there was a big volcanic eruption. But that's a long time ago. Yeah, um, I, yeah, even I wasn't around then, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> Even I wasn't, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Day seven, you are off to Fuerta Ventura. And funnily enough, apart from being a fabulous holiday destination, one of the things that Fuerta Ventura is really well known for is for being an amazing place to do windsurfing, which I personally have never done before. No, I haven't. I'm not sure I'd be very good at it. But as you can see here, look at the water there. I mean, that's like the Caribbean, isn't it? Beautiful. So you'll see a lot of that going on there. And, you know, but you could do horse riding on the beach. It's all about the beaches in Puerto Ventura, so enjoy feeling the sand between your toes. And then on day eight, you're going to sail back to Tenerife and we will fly you home. And, so, you know, like I said before, Sean, with Planet Cruise, if you wanted to stay in a hotel either before or after the cruise in Tenerife, we can absolutely make that happen. Yeah, we could, you know, maybe give you a, a seven-night stay in Tenerife. Absolutely, yeah. Well, yeah. We can, honestly, we can. Um, with a choice of hotels, of course, as well. But this is going to be your floating resort, your floating yeah. hotel, of course, for the seven nights. Um, and we guarantee with Thompson they have great food, great entertainment, great friendly service. And all of the tips and service charges are included as well. So if you, you know, if you're that worries about those things, or oh, well, how much is it going to cost, they are all included in that price. And actually, Gemma, I know we've got a variety of dates uh, and yes. a selection of cabins as well. Mm -hmm. But we have a very special date, the 6th of March, don't we? Yeah, absolutely, because you're going to get a free upgrade there to Ocean View. So that's, if you can go on the 6th, it's a great date to pick. And the other thing is also you get a real selection of airports yes. as well. Um, so, these, you know, based on, say, return flights from London Gatwick, but as Gemma said, we have got loads of flights available on the 6th of March, and they're included in the price. Uh, we also... Um, Need to mention that the itineraries differ slightly depending on departure date. Um, and so, with Thompson, we want to make it easy. We, we've got loads and loads of airports. Just ask our um, say, call centre about those and they can talk you through. But on the 6th, particularly, we have several of those included in the price, don't we? Yeah, absolutely. So, hopefully, there'll be one near where you live and you'll be off for that fabulous bit of sunshine. Which I think uh, we're all craving now. Apart from you, you've just had some. <laughs> no, I'm ready for the next cruise, I tell you. Now, um, here's the, uh, the prices that we've got. As we mentioned, the 6th of March is cracking because you've got a, uh, an outside upgrade. But we've also got exceptional value on the 13th, the 20th and the 27th of March. We do know whenever we feature Thompson, the lines light yeah, up. Yeah, very popular. Great first choice for cruise hotel as well. Absolutely. I think you know what you're getting. People are really familiar with the Thompson brand, yeah. you know, so they feel very like they can really trust it and they know what they're getting. That's a really good one, isn't it? What yeah. a start. But we are live right now, coming up to 10 past 8, and we're going to go direct to the Planet Cruise call centre and speak to Jade, because I gather um, a really hot deal has literally just come in. Jade, are you there? I can't hear anyone. Jade. Hello. Hello, Jade. Hello, how are you? I'm very well. I'm, I'm relieved that you're there, Jade. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, I gather that uh, a Cunard deal's just come in, is that right? Yes, we've got a very special deal for you tonight on a Cunard sailing. This has literally just been reduced from 849 to 699 per person. Wow. Wow. And what, what's the dates and where, where's it sailing to then, Jay? Yeah, I'll give you all the details. Okay. It's basically seven nights going from New York to Southampton. It's on board the Queen Mary II, and that includes your flights as well. And that's on the 10th of May. So we're going from New York to Southampton, so it's the iconic transatlantic cruise. Uh -huh. Queen Mary 2, you're saying? Queen Mary 2, 10th of May, and there's also going to be a guest speaker on board, the journalist, TV, radio presenter, Nicholas Owen, and who the you price... may know about. And obviously, we don't expect this to last 
very long this deal because the no. transatlantic crossings are yeah. quite popular yeah. and especially with this reduction down to 699 it's absolutely fantastic and that that's does amazing. include the flight of course I as know. well incredible wow jade so um we need to need to get the phone on straight away for that one of thought then yes yeah we're already here ready to take your book in so yeah. give us a call and uh, we'll happily help you Jade, thank you so much for that, and have a good evening, won't you? Yeah, you too. Thanks. Oh, bye. I'm sure it'll be a busy evening. That's a phenomenal deal, <laughs> isn't, isn't it? it? Isn't yeah. It? And this is what we love about being live. You know, when something comes in, we tell you about it straight away.